You can utilize K2 Smart Fields within various workflow step configurations, but one of the most common uses is dropping them into the subject line or body of an email message. In this example, I'll show you how to make the subject line of an email message a bit more dynamic by using text and date smart field functions in conjunction with a SharePoint list as the data source tied into your workflow. I'm working with the subject line of an email notification inside a user task step, and I want to do two things with this. First, I want to use a text function to convert the title text of a document stored in SharePoint to all capital letters and embed it within text on the subject line. Second, I also want to inform the task recipient that this task will expire in seven days using nested date functions. I'll start with capitalizing the document's title text by going into the functions group of smart fields, open up the text group of functions, locate and drag the function called to upper over to the subject line and drop it in just after the text review policy document. Notice that the smart field composer opens up for us to configure the smart field function. Next, to get the title field from the document library, select the fields group down below Open the item reference to the document library and drag the title field over to the text input box of this function. This looks pretty good, although I'm also going to quickly rename the way this function field appears. I'll rename it to document title to upper. Notice that the subject line changes are visible to us here at the top of the composer right as we edit. From here, I'll close the Smart Field Composer to go back to the Email Configuration section. I'm going to eventually configure this user task to expire in seven days, so I want to inform the task recipient of this fact right on the subject line. I can take care of this requirement by going back to the Functions area, then I'll open up the Date and Time group, Grab the add days function and drop it over in the subject line just after the text task expires on. When the smart field composer opens up, we need to add in the date of reference to start from, then tell the function how many days to add to that date. We're in luck because K2 provides a now date and time function. I'll scroll down to get that, then drag it over to the date and time input box for the add days function. Enter the number 7 in the day's input. Rename this to add 7 days from now just to make it easier. Then we can exit the composer to review what the subject line looks like. Great, that will satisfy my requirements for this part of the user task. To recap what we've done, we used a combination of function and item reference smart fields to build a dynamic subject line that will give our task recipients quick access to information about their task assignment. When this email notification goes out, it will show the title of the document they need to review in all capital letters, as well as a note to when the task assignment will expire.